Hello viewers, well if you checked out our interviews you've seen some of our first coverage of Dirt 3 there, some interesting new details coming out. Uh, now is my first hands on Dirt 3, checking it out. Obviously it's my first ever go so you're going to see me learning some of the sort of the traction and where to brake, where not to brake and sometimes spinning out here and there but it's all getting a feel for the car, you know, you've got to find the limit and I thought rather than just cut out all those crashes I'd show you my learning and then sort of developing myself from before my sort of faster run. But check a bit of this out now. Hello viewers, we're looking at the Trailblazer now. So I'm going to have my first go. Crazy power in these Group B cars, as you can see. Me mega speed. Actually, when I first saw this, I thought it was a bit crazy fast. But seeing the speed and the, the wide tracks. But of course, these aren't representative of the rally stages in the game. Of course, uh, the Trailblazer mode is about crazy speed and wide sections. Just letting you go hill for leather. It does take a bit of getting used to. Uh, the front end's very twitchy on this early build. As I say, this is very early. This is this was literally a few months ago. Some of you may have just spotted the man running out of the way. Apparently there'll be lots of those in the final game. So lots of packs of people standing in the road, crazy like, waiting for you to come along and uh, narrowly miss them. You've got to be a brave man to be a rally driver, there's no doubt about it. Oh, a bit close to that lamppost, but still doing the business. I tend to drive from the bonnet view, it's handy for me, but we will look at the other views as well. Handling's twitchy, very twitchy. But you feel the different surfaces, and you can actually hear the, the car gripping, see the way the car turns. It really affects, really affected by the surface. Bags of speed here. Breaking a little bit for the tarmac. Oh, car gripping was too much. Oh, the crash. Again, not concentrating enough and talking too much. This is a game where you need to focus a little bit on the map and what you're actually doing. So that's the end of that stage. Obviously, loads more time in it than I was able to put in there. We're going to restart now and just run that from a different view. So we've got in car. Nice in car view as well. Nice detail. We can look around. Let's slow down for a minute. We can look around as well. Stop the car. Nice detail on the dashboard there, fantastic. Really nice to see. Very twitchy up the hill there, a little bit off the power. Trying to cut those corners a little bit, but there's some occasionally obstacles hidden within the long grass, so you want to be careful when cutting corners. You need to hit those jumps bang on as well, whereas the car will completely lose it in the air. Oh! Oh dear, well I hit the wall there, so again, got to really respect some of these corners. Again, I'm using the control pad at the moment, so as a wheel user, it's a bit of getting used to. that tarmac again. Of course with the cracked windscreen now my visibility is uh, very low. It really affects it. And you can imagine this while you know you've got different weather conditions to cope with as well. And what I'll do is I will show you guys the different viewpoints. He went off at the same point again. I'll show you guys the different viewpoints and then after that I'll look at doing a, a clean high speed run as well once I've actually learned some of these tricky corners. So we'll restart again now from an external view. There are two external views. Oh, and that's not one of them. That's the, uh, that's the I've hit the wrong button there. Don't want to knock about that. We've got a far away external view. You can 
can uh, see the detail in the car. Different sound as well. Rally cars are enormously loud, of course, as are all racing cars. They're uh, always way louder than you ever expect them to be. Running from this view does give you a much better view of the road ahead, though. There's no doubt about it. And, of course, as I say, it's worth pointing out that this demo is uh, a few months old already. So this is... Uh, yet to be improved upon for the final version. Now I'm actually showing you footage here literally just raw as I learn these uh, sections myself. Getting a feel for them, getting a feel for the car, getting a feel for how fast you can go and what the limit is. the hill. That map up the top there is all important in this mode of course what with the uh, lack of driver notes. Okay so a first look there at Finland. A few uh, bumps and scratches here and there but it's all part of learning the course. Uh, I go off now and do a, a clean run now. I need to focus a bit more and not talk so much. So my next video is going to be a clean run of that circuit along with uh, couple of replays as well just talking about some of the other details in that section so uh, check those out now and I'll be back with more on the game.